Welcome to another edition of What's Happening at Phoenix and our More Food, Less Space project update. Um, as you know, we were originally planning to put out a pilot system in a uh, new high tunnel that we just um, got erected. However, we since changed our mind as we are want to do in projects. We're actually going to put it in its existing tunnel that we already have going. Um, this is a 50 foot by 40 foot tunnel, I believe. Um, and we had this row of strawberry beds here. Strawberries didn't abs absolutely did not like it here at all. Um, uh, guy who built the tables did not do all that great a job, as you can see. They've collapsed, and um, what we decided it was to make uh, use of that space. Um, so essentially, we were going to build our own tanks because once again, we want this to be a sustainable project that can be replicated in a lot of communities. Um, we're going to build our own tanks. We're going to use catfish rather than tilapia initially because catfish don't have the temperature requirements and complexities that tilapia require. Uh, and also catfish are a southern staple. And we're going to run our beds down this row. So we'll stick our tanks up at the top, run our beds all the way down the row till this very important area, which is our worm composting bin. And why this area is important is because in here you will see some little creatures crawling around, um, which are called fly maggots. And there's a bunch of them. You'll see them moving all around down in there. And why these fly maggots are important is because they're going to provide a food source for our fish. As I said, we want this to be as sustainable a project as possible. So we don't want to have to buy fish food. So what better way than to turn our garden waste into a food source for our fish. Um, which will in turn provide that food source into a food source for our plants. So this has been another edition of What's Happening at Phoenix. We can still use some donations. Our campaign is still going. Look for our fundraisers. Um, Ten bucks doesn't sound like much, but it'll buy us plywood. It'll buy us plexiglass. It'll buy us a lot of stuff. So if you got a couple of bucks, please go to our website and donate. Once again, it's been another edition of What's Happening at Phoenix. Uh, we should really have this rudimentary, rudimentary starts of a system this week. Uh, one of the benefits of uh, the after effects of my operation is um, there are periods when I just don't have any strength to do anything. Uh, but I get to sit around the computer so now I can sit down and do the calculations on what the fish uh, tank sizes need to be and what the bed sizes need to be and how many fish we can put per tank um, based upon what we want to grow, that type of thing. So this has been another edition of What's Happening at Phoenix, sustainable food for sustainable community. More food, less space.